thank you all so much for being here today. Before we start, I'd like to ask Councilman Howard Duvall to open us with a prayer as we begin today's festivities. Thank you, Rob. Let us pray. Father God, we thank you for this beautiful day. The weather lends itself to our good spirits as we have this groundbreaking ceremony. Thank you for the foresight of the City of Columbia for having this Bull Street project and for the work that the huge development has put into making this a success. We ask you to watch over the construction of this building, to keep safe those that labor in the construction, and to make it a joyful place for the new employees that will come to locate in it. We ask in your name, amen. amen. Thank you very much for that, Councilman Duval. That was great. And thank you all so much for being here today. My name is Robert Hughes. I'm president of Hughes Development Corporation. We are the master developer of the Bull Street District and developer of the West Lawn Building, which we are here to celebrate. It's pretty overwhelming, and as I started to think about today's event, to think about all that's happened in the last 12 months and where likely all of us were 12 months ago today. Uh, learning what the word quarantine really meant, worrying for ourselves personally, for our families, and for ourselves professionally, uh, and really not knowing what would happen next. So it's, it's really, you know, it's hard to not keep in mind all of the hardship and the loss, but it does make it even, even more sweet and, and even somewhat humbling uh, to be here today on this beautiful day celebrating something new and wonderful like the construction of this new building. Before we start, I really want to introduce everyone up front with us. Councilman Howard Duvall, uh, Carl Blackstone, head of the Columbia Chamber, Bob Hughes, a chairman of our company, father uh, and true visionary behind the Bull Street District. It's really clear that we would nothing would be out here today uh, if it was not for him. Mayor Steve Benjamin, you can say the same, uh, really has been an instrumental leader for this city and leader behind this project. So thank you, Mayor Benjamin, for being here. And then Becky Lafitte and Frank Ellerby, two of the partners uh, inside of Robinson Gray Law Firm, the lead tenant for the West Lawn Building. So thank you all so much for being here. There's also way too many people to thank in the crowd. Uh, first, our company, Hughes Development, here located with us today, we have Chandler Cox, who's the project manager for Bull Street, Janie Quinn, the Bull Street district manager. Uh, I see other faces out here uh, from Randy Boggs and Danita Webb to others that make Bull Street happen every single day. So thank you guys for being here. City of Columbia, obviously our partner in this project from day one, uh, from Missy Gentry, who I understand is celebrating a milestone birthday today. So thank you, Missy, for joining us on your birthday. Uh, I believe City Manager Teresa Wilson is here. Uh, so thank you for being here. Ryan Coleman, Head of Economic Development, and of course, Jeffrey Palin and Gregory Tucker, who has been uh, the main liaison with the city for Bull Street, so thank you. Perkins and Will Architecture Firm is here. Brassfield and Gorey, the building contractor, is here. C.R. Jackson, the civil contractor, is here. Uh, civil engineer Davis and Floyd is here. Structural engineer Britt Peters. Several members of the Bull Street Commission are here. Uh, and then last but not least, two people very near and dear to me, my wife and my mom are here. So it's a very special day, and I'm happy to be able to celebrate it with all of you. Over the last 12 months, a whole lot has happened. A lot's changed in our world, and a lot's changed out here at Bull Street. Uh, over the last 12 months, we've opened the first national retailers at Bull Street, REI and Starbucks, both behind us. Town Park at Bull Street, the townhomes have started their next phase, continued their sales and their success. Merrill Gardens Senior Living opened and welcomed its first residents to Bull Street. The first phase of the Bull Street Park was completed, which will be named and, and opened later this spring. Uh, the Babcock Building, one of the largest historic renovation projects in the state, started construction and even after a devastating fire in September, will rebuild its dome and welcome its first residents into that building in 2022. And lastly, what brings us here today is we announced the West Lawn Building. This building will be one of a kind, first of its kind in our state and really came to life in late 2019 when we got a call from friends and folks we knew at Robinson Gray Law Firm that said, hey, we're outgrown our space. 
we're looking to move. Do you have any old cool buildings at Bull Street that would fit us? We said, no, there are no buildings the size you need at Bull Street left, but why do you want an old building? What is it about an old building that attracts you, uh, that, that makes you want to move to Bull Street or think about that? And they said they wanted something unique, something cool, something that differentiated themselves and showed the ideals and the, the values of their firm. Well, we had been lucky enough to have been talking about a new building type, mass timber, cross laminated timber, new building structural material, just recently allowed in the International Building Code in the United States in 2015 that accomplished all of those things but in new construction. West Lawn will be the first mass timber office building, private mass timber office building in the state of South Carolina. Uh, it will, it actually, we've recently done a study where it will, it will produce 38% less carbon by its production because of the construction type than a traditional steel or concrete building. It also creates some of the most beautiful uh, office space you can create with wood ceilings, wood walls, uh, and will create a really unique and special environment for Robinson Gray that we think will differentiate the building from the others in the market and really others in the southeast. So Robinson Gray came to us, we worked together, we created the beautiful building that I think there are brochures that have been passed out with renderings and pictures, 79,000 square feet of office and retail space. Breaking ground today will open next April. Welcome Robinson Gray into the Bull Street District. And with that, I'd like to bring up Cal Watson, the managing partner of Robinson Gray, to walk us through their story and what they're doing here. Um, and we're excited to have them. So thank you, Cal and team. Thank you very much. On behalf of Robinson Gray, I want to thank everybody who made this day possible. To say that we are excited about our move to West Lawn next year is a complete understatement. We, we literally can't wait. Uh, Robert is right. Everything he said is, is, is exactly right. Uh, we reached out to Robert and his team last year. We described our vision and boy did they deliver. Uh, we, we found the huge group to be a perfect, a perfect partner for us and very easy to work with and we can't thank them enough. Um, along with the team they assembled, including the architects from Perkins and Will, we are really in awe of what you've done and we, we, we cannot thank you enough and we, we are very excited about our move here next year. I also want to uh, thank the City of Columbia just for the vision, uh, Mr. Mayor and, and everybody else, for the vision of this area. Uh, we really um, have embraced the idea of this area the vision is incredible and we, we are looking forward to being a, a part of this area and watch the growth over the next um, few years. I'd like to take a moment also to uh, acknowledge and recognize the other people from Robinson Gray who are here. We have Janie Langdale, Janie, where are you? Janie's our Director of Marketing, um, Robin Carroll who is our Director of Administration, and my law partner is Bill Metzger, Frank Ellerby, Becky Lafitte, and Bobby Stepp who are here today. So. Again, uh, we, this is a team effort on our part and we, we certainly appreciate all the support both in, within the firm and this incredible group around us. So with that, I'll just say thank you to everyone again and, and I'll extend an open invitation to everybody who's here today to join us up on our rooftop patio in April of 2022. Thanks a lot. Cal's going to regret making that offer uh, to everyone. <laughs> They're going to see a really uh, robust response. Um, we've been doing this for a few years now. I think Robert Hughes is getting really good at this, y'all. Uh, I think I see a, I'm not sure if a political future is in, in, uh, in the talks or not. Uh, uh, obviously, I'm so excited to be here with, with all of you uh, today uh, for another momentous announcement. On, on, on Bull Street. Uh, when we uh, first began laborious negotiations uh, with, um, with, with Bob Hughes and, and Robert uh, and their team, and, and Robert has, has done the pleasure of, of, of introducing our incredible leadership team from the city of, of Columbia. But as we were sitting around uh, the, uh, the large conference room table hammering out the, 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 the details, of what would become a development agreement that had eluded the state of South Carolina and the city of Columbia for so long, and then what would become a venue license agreement to, to eventually bring 
professional sports back to uh, Columbia, it was very easy to get caught up in the, in the details, in the minutia, and what was there or what wasn't there, uh, that sometimes it was uh, very difficult to grasp the entirety of the vision of what Bow Street could mean for this city and for this state. Uh, what eventually became 181 acres, uh, two and a half times the size of our entire central business district. The adaptive reuse of historic structures and new Class A office buildings, uh, a, a, a focus on our ecology and our environment, uh, the retention of a beautiful uh, sylvan canopy uh, that defines this district, the respect of the history of this district, but while understanding we'd all also be standing on incredible 21st century infrastructure, unlike literally, unlike anything else in this entire state with gigabit fiber connecting us in some amazing ways. That we knew that we would attract the very best and brightest that Columbia would have to offer and indeed that the world would have to offer seeing foreign direct investment from across the Atlantic and yes it you, you may think that this building at Westlawn is only being occupied by a, a fantastic law firm, this law firm, and its predecessor law firms are indeed, um, uh, Cal Frank, that the definitional uh, of, of, uh, of leadership in this city uh, for the better part of, of 100 years, Brother Steph. You guys have, have laid the foundation uh, for uh, a fantastically dynamic legal community, business community here. The vision that uh, very few people were willing to invest in, but that Bob Hughes saw an opportunity here and an opportunity to invest in this great city. And, and, and uh, Bob, Robert, I, I can't tell you how excited and thankful uh, we are. Uh, we took a lot of arrows together, uh, a lot of arrows. And I think if you just stood in one place and did a 360 degree turn, you'll see uh, that the vision uh, is coming, well, coming to life. Uh, and, and we all, all, of us who are believers, know that well, there's no vision that people perish. Uh, the vision is coming to life here in Bull Street. And I'm so excited to have been a part of it all happening. Uh, I will tell you this, despite uh, a, a tough year for all of us last year, the greatest pandemic since 1918, the greatest economic disruption in an election year since 1932, and even the greatest social unrest we've seen in most of America's cities since 1968, that Columbia has had a banner year. Uh, that uh, this past year alone, uh, we've seen over $1.1 billion of announced or active development uh, in the city in Richland County. Uh, building permits requests up over $120 million year over year, 471 million versus 348 million. Amazing mixed use projects happening all across the city. Most people get frustrated when they hear trains. I think the sound of commerce. You hear, you, you hear, you hear uh, sirens and I, and I hear uh, fantastic first class public services. Um, they hear helicopters and, and, and I, here, the uh, fantastic leadership of, of, of Prisma Health Systems, uh, 30,000 employees statewide providing health care to the people of the Midlands and all across the state of South Carolina. It doesn't bother me one bit. I'm um, thankful for it. Uh, the commercial industrial markets across Columbia and the Midlands have performed well. Over 1,700 jobs announced uh, since the beginning of last year. The Mark Anthony Brewing Project just down the road with South Carolina's project of the year, year, the largest economic investment in the state of South Carolina, creating 300 new jobs at 400 million in investment. Uh, there's a lot of amazing things happening all across this city, but I will tell you uh, that um, uh, when the books are written, the long-term vision, the 20-year build-out vision of what Bull Street will be, as we said it would be almost a decade ago, uh, will be probably the greatest and most significant contribution to the long-term posterity and prosperity of Columbia and the Midlands. And we're so thankful 
uh, of the role that each and every one of you has played in making uh, this happen. Um, uh, I would be remiss uh, one last time if I didn't say thank you to our team at, this, at the City of Columbia uh, for your incredible leadership and stewardship and partnership, understanding the power of public-private partnerships. Uh, that's the way you get things done. And we've been able to do that a uh, lot arm in arm with huge development. And, and I, I am so excited about what is yet to come here. Thank you and God bless you.